Hello, Brian Hogg here, and this is a quick video to show you how you could create multiple pages of your past events using the events calendar shortcode. And to do this, we're going to use a couple options that the shortcode comes with, namely limit, so we can decide how many events we want to have on our past event pages, and also offset to basically say, okay, this is page one, this is page two, this is page three, and so on. So if I head over to pages, I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to label this say past events. And in it, I just need to create my short code or type in my short code. I'm going to create ECS list events. And in this one, I'm just going to limit it to say four. I don't have too many events on this test site, but you could obviously increase this if you have a lot of past events. And I can also say past equals yes to only show past events. So let's publish this. And if I view the page, you can see it's showing our past events, but it's showing the oldest ones first. So we, if we're gonna create multiple pages, we probably wanna have it going down. So the, the latest events first, but in the past. So I can edit the page. And we'll use this order parameter to switch the order. So we'll do order equals descending or DESC to show it in the opposite way. So if I preview that just to see, you can see that here it's showing now the most recent past event first, and then it goes backward in time from there. So I'll update that. Now I'll copy this and create our second page. Paste that in, and here I'll add in the offset equals four, so the same limit, but now it's gonna be four more events in the past. So if I preview that, you can see that it's further. We had September as our last event. This is now showing August as uh, the latest event, which is what we want. So I'll publish that. And we can do this a couple more times. I mean, we really, people aren't gonna go much more than three or four pages. And if you have a ton of events, just increase the limit to 10 or 20 or 30 or even 40, and that'll let you paginate uh, your events. So I'll do one more. And now instead of offset four, I'm gonna do offset eight so that it's two pages further down. Publish that, and actually I'll say this page three update and do this for page two as well, just to make it easier to see. There we go. Last but not least, we just need to add a quick link between them. So here I can do next page. I can even do this in the visual view, whichever one you prefer and click on insert link. And I'm going to Type past events, grab page two, apply, and update that. And if I view the page, scroll down, you see we have our next page. Boom, now it's showing page two. And I can edit this page to show not only the next page, which will be page three, but also the previous page, if you'd like. Now, if I view this, boom, we get our previous page. There's the first page, next page there, and there's our last page of events. So that's it. That's how you can use the events calendar shortcode to create pages of events anywhere you need to on your site.